All right, this is Dr. Norton with another devotional thought. This comes from Ephesians chapter 1. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the workings of the strength of his might, and then further on, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Hi, Julie. This little guy. This is my son. Check out. Say hello, friends and students. Hello, friends and students. Where were we just at yesterday? Where did we just come back from? Where did we just come from? No, no, back? no. I'm asking you. Where did we just come back from? Guatemala. Oh, yeah. That was cool, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm talking to my students about this verse. This verse talks about how the, the eyes of our heart may be enlightened. So here's the view from my backyard. This is my, actually my, my balcony. And uh, this is a little different. This is a little different from the view we had from El Progreso. And I think the contrast is, is appropriate. There's a lot of, a lot of um, different things to look at here in this view. This house is right next to us. It's nice. But, um, the, the eyes of my heart, I feel like in many ways, are enlightened by the scriptures, teaching me to love what is lovable, truly lovable, teaching me to, to value the things that should be valued. Um, in some ways, houses like this, big houses, and, I don't know, city life, and nice cars, uh, our culture teaches us to value these things above all else. Yet I just returned from a place where people are so happy and so joyful uh, and yet have very little. They uh, are poor in the, in, the, in the ways of the world, and yet in so many ways rich in fellowship and rich, rich in understanding and rich in peace. And so um, I want to make sure my eyes, the eyes of my heart, are never deceived into thinking that homes and Mercedes Benzes and whatever those cars are there, that these are true riches, but instead to always remember that it's to be rich in Christ uh, involves knowing the secrets of wisdom and the secrets of God's wisdom made available to us in the scriptures. So I encourage you as you uh, finish this class to, to really seek riches in Christ first. Um, not that owning a home like that would be a bad thing. It's a very nice place actually. It's plenty of room to have friends over and so forth. But in truth having a home like that and, and lacking the peace that, that Christ offers us would be uh, really difficult. Um, much rather to, to live in a very small uh, shack with love, the scriptures say, than to live in a mansion. So may, may you and, and, and me also, uh, may we, may we uh, be rich in Christ knowing things that are, are truly valuable um, from those things that are not valuable, having that perspective and our, and our, and our uh, perspectives properly uh, focused to live lives of great joy and peace all through the love and grace that Christ offers us through his death and resurrection. God bless you all.